That's what happened to me. You said, let's go, and so we left. No, you forgot. You, you were putting the out. nickels in, and what did I do? I you walked probably out. probably walked out. Didn't tell him. I just walked out. I couldn't be in that place. Mm -hmm. I felt like I had just was. I had just so been shock. sacrilegious to mm -hmm. be in that temple. And he'd been in the temple a lot, mm -hmm. so he was used to being in the temple, and it wasn't mm -hmm. a, a big experience for mm -hmm. him. And by the time he got to Vegas, he'd forgotten. I guess. That and all the thing you stop to think of the hundreds and hundreds of motels. We went to a motel, in and Vegas. Jean and Eva, after we had checked in, they had hit the same motel. Same motel. They were in a you know, no different room idea. in that there. Oh, when did we I find did. out? The next day that the they were there? Day. Yeah. The next day. Yeah. I had no set. idea. My parents had, had spent the night in the same motel. On your wedding night. On our wedding. wedding. Uh -huh. Yeah. There was uh -huh. their car the next morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, anyway, I went. So he felt really bad, and he finally found me. I was out on the street. I wouldn't go back in there. So we got a room. So we got a room, and the next morning he was up bright and early, and I was doing my hair or something, and he said he's going to go out for a walk, and he came back with a sack, a big brown sack, full of money. He won gambling. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I had found a. a, a I, pigeon had flown down into this little doorway and I caught it, put it in the sack, and so and I took it the home sack, for a gift for me. The pigeon flew out. Flew out of my face. <laughs> Here's a little gift I got for you. I thought you'd like handed it to me, opened it, you know, like this, and the pigeon flew out and hit me in the face. Well I thought it was neat, but she didn't think it was that neat, so I got the pigeon out of the house. Got the pigeon out of the motel room Let real fast. <laughs> real romantic stuff. Yeah, real romantic stuff. <laughs> A pigeon flying. Well, I like <laughs> pigeons. We raised them as kids. And I remember uh, he was so flustered, the pigeon, that there were feathers. You know, it scared him probably as much as it did me. <laughs> and he finally caught it, took it out. But I kept the feather for a long time. Did you? Those feathers of that pigeon. And then where did you go that what day? kind of a guy I had married. He was never, I can really say this with great honesty. I have never been bored in these 50 years <laughs> of life with this man. He never, it was never boring. Well, so we went good. to Barstow. Did we have a reception at Barstow that night? No. Or did we go to we San Bernardino? We drove through Barstow and went right to San Bernardino and yeah. had our honeymoon at the Orange County Fair, <laughs> San Bernardino Orange County Fair. Oh, great. Because we had made arrangements to have our reception a week after our wedding, and that really didn't give us enough time to go where we'd really like to go. And then I had to help get the reception ready and everything. So we just stayed there in San Bernardino, and the reception was in LA area. It was in Downey. Yeah, that one was, that was in Downey. That's where my parents yeah. lived. There, uh, you know, in the chapel, not in the chapel, in the cultural hall. Mm -hmm. Really nice reception. And then a week after that, we had an open house at his parents in Barstow. What were some of the More presents table you had? Cloths. More tablecloths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, that was the year of the tablecloths. I don't, we had so many of those. Yeah, well, was and tough. we got some really nice things mm -hmm. too, you know, but I remember hauling those tablecloths around. Right. Thinking but he that was, was our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Just San Bernardino Motel, Orange <laughs> Show. Reception, Reception, open house, and back Reception to work again. again. Back to work. Yeah. yeah. But well, see, we you guys, you guys forever. don't have to have a Hawaii, <laughs> <laughs> Europe. You could go to Vegas, get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go to go. the next story show that's in San Bernardino. <laughs> and you know, it's it's been a help. Then, We've had some problems. Everybody has problems. And there were sometimes we'd say to each other, it's good we have the church in common, because that's the only thing we have in common, <laughs> really. And I'm really truthful here. I, I think if we weren't members of the same church and had made those covenants and promises that we made on that day, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if our marriage would have made it. You may have not, but I would have. I never would have let you go. You may well, have let me go there, a couple of times. Well, there were some really <laughs> hard times that came along, and we didn't agree mm -hmm. on a few things. And it was good we did. I mean, I think when you have a marriage that you make promises to each other, mm -hmm. 
we've I've always felt and he does too that Heavenly Father's part of that. Mm -hmm. That he's one of the the covenants you make is to serve him and do the best you can to make the marriage work. Mm -hmm. So I think that you work harder on those kind of marriages. Then we had some great kids. Yes, and then we had the good Aww. kids, you know, and we knew we knew we hadn't made a mistake marrying each other because we had such neat kids. Yeah, Those kids were not a mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were there waiting to come down and be part of the family, mm -hmm. like yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's really, uh, sometimes it would, one thing that helped our marriage too is he's gone a lot. <laughs> He was gone, you know, I'd leave on Monday afternoon and he'd be gone until Friday selling mm -hmm. books. And so it helped in so much as that I was so unready for marriage. I, I never saw myself as a mother that early in my life and all of that. So with his being gone, it made me grow up. Mm -hmm. He was gone so much, I was like mom and dad a lot mm -hmm. of the time. And it got really hard, but it also made me feel the responsibility and... And you know, when the kids wake up and cry and you're the only one there, mm -hmm. you you learn to to be a, a good good wife. Well, and you were always there. pretty close to my folks if you needed. Yes, yeah, so we lived in Barstow. After we started having babies, then we settled in Barstow. Mm -hmm. Had all five of them while we lived there. What was your the, the home that you think of as the most like heartfelt? What what home did you love the most of all the places you guys lived? Uh, the your first little apartment? No, first not the little home. apartment. Our home yeah. that we bought. Where you remember that you're yeah, about yeah. eight when we left. Mm -hmm. It was home. Yeah, you know, it was we, neat. That's where I just built the house right on top of the hill. Big windows, mm -hmm. and Dad says you cannot afford that. Twenty-one thousand dollars that home was. Can you imagine that? Every wow. other home in town was five and six thousand. Wow. Yeah, yeah, thirteen thousand was considered. But you put in another zero on twenty-one thousand, you have two hundred and ten thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's that's the, about how expensive that home mm -hmm. was. We built the fence in the backyard. Well, I mean, physically we did it. Yeah. We did a lot yeah. of the we work. We did a lot of the work. So did you have to triple your workload to, to keep yeah. a house like that? Cause it was always, I, I made so much every set time I sold a set of books. So if I did anything, I would just say, well, I'll have to sell one more set of books this month. Are and so did? I would yeah. go out and sell them and yeah. come home yeah. as soon as I got through selling them. Yeah. Sometimes I could do yeah. it in two days. Sometimes it would take the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you'd, you'd already you'd, you'd been working on your pitches all along since you were <laughs> yes. since when you met Abby. Yeah. Yeah. he was a salesman. Yeah, he really mm -hmm. was. Well, I enjoyed it. it was and he won the award every year. For oh wow! Good. We got more trips, and when yeah. we never took the trips. We took the money every year. What or the award? piano. Oh, the piano. Or what the was piano. the award? The, trips for to the best salesman of the year for the book company, mm. and then either have a trip or you have the money or a trip for the or country, something. the best salesman. Yeah, mm. for, the for the company. For the company, and I was that every year. What was the name of the company? Americana. Yeah, it was yeah. Grolier. Was the name of the company oh, yeah. that published a lot of books, a lot yeah. of educational books, and he was a top salesman. So we really were able to afford that house, but his dad didn't think Jack could make money sure. like that. That's wonderful. So he worried about us a lot. Not only did he have to make the payment of 121 a month. 121 a month. That was <laughs> a big 500 every three months. Yeah, and then we had mm -hmm. to pay the equity off that the people had. They wanted to sell it so bad. Because it was a new home. Nobody had ever lived yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. And they were transferred. And so we paid them 500 a month until we paid them their equity. Mm -hmm. And his dad, when he heard we were doing that, then he really thought we had made a huge mistake. Mm -hmm. Is it still there in Barstow, do you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Does it look the same? Well, it didn't. They've but they fixed it up for fixed new people. It up.